Ladies and gents, welcome back. This is a follow-up to the Jordan Peterson story where the Ontario College of Psychologists is holding his license to be a clinical psychologist hostage if he does not submit to re-education training. And that sounds hyperbolic, but this is actually what's happening. You have a tweet here from Jordan Peterson, or a string of tweets here. I mentioned yesterday that I wanted to make the details of the accusations made against me by the Ontario College of Psychologists public. Here's a string beginning that process. He has one deleted tweet here, uh, probably just a correction uh, for what he says here. A plan ASAP to make the all the allegations to and my responses as public as possible while abiding by the ethical and legal restrictions on doing so. And least in in so far as the rules are clear and commensurate with the truth and reasonable defense. Now, this being that the accusations are anonymous against him, and well, that that that's problematic here. Here are the demands made of me with regard to my re-education. I have formally indicated my refusal to comply. He has uh, two of uh, three uh, pages here and puts down here at the bottom. Here's the last page of the required undertaking. Of course, I'll leave the links in the description so you can check all of this out for yourself. But this part here, I understand this is where he has to sign and date. I understand that the, the coach does not provide a final report indicating that the acknowledgement concerns above have been appropriately remediated in the public interest. I will not cons be considered to have sex successfully Compl uh, complied with this undertaking. This may constitute professional misconduct and the registrar may proceed to investigate the matter in accordance with Health Professions Procedural Code, which is Schedule 2 with the Regulation of Health Professionals Act of 1991. In the event that for any reason beyond my control, I'm unable to satisfy all the terms of the acknowledgement and undertaking. Any modification of the acknowledgement and undertaking will be at the discretion of the registrar. So basically saying that you you must comply with this stuff, but if they're not happy with how you've complied with it, uh, well, they can just go, they'll just take his license or they can have any disciplinary action regardless of what he does in compliance with, with this um, uh, request of him. I have, And then the last one, I have had the opportunity to seek qualified legal advice for agreeing to this acknowledged acknowledgement and undertaking. So that's the statement here. Now, uh, Brian Lilly of the Toronto Sun interviewed Jordan Peterson over the phone and wrote this uh, article here. Jordan Peterson launches court challenge as College of Psychologists attempts to pull license over social media posts. Now, just so people understand what's going on here, the College of Psychologists is an independent body. It's not a government body. It's an independent body which uh, handles the licensing of uh, psychologists and and uh, you know people in this in this industry. So they're an independent thing. Uh, Jordan Peterson is now going outside of that independent body and going for judicial review here. And the article reads, the complaints against him and the attempt to pull his license are all political, Jordan Peterson tells me over the phone. So this this being um, clearly them going above the purview of what it is that they, they're meant to be doing. So yeah, he's decided to finally push back against the College of Psychologists of Ontario after a demand that he submit to social media re-education or lose his license. They don't want to call it re-education because there's uh, well, <laughs> obviously a uh, connotation there. Peterson has filed an application for judicial review with the Ontario Divisional Court, and he's now speaking openly about the barrage of politically motivated complaints. On Tuesday, Peterson took to Twitter, the social media platform, that could be called the scene of his many crimes to say enough is enough. I practiced for over 20 years with, without being investigated. This only started when I became prominent, a prominent figure, uh, Peterson said in a phone interview Wednesday morning. He said that ever since he rose to public prominence in 2016, he's been facing nonstop 
complaints. He's had to hire lawyers to handle the complaints with the college. Now, the complaints, he later says, were not from anybody that he's ever actually dealt with as a clinical psychologist. Now, the, the college is supposed to be dealing with him in his professional capacity, not him in his in his public capacity as uh, just a citizen of Canada. This is uh, this is going again above and beyond what their purview is outside of the parameters of what it is they're supposed to be overseeing. Here in a article from Global News, Jordan Peterson says Ontario psychologist license may be suspended over public statements. Controversial author and public figure Jordan Peterson, of course, they, they, you know, this is global news, so they're not friends of him. I'm trying to show all the different sides of this, has been told to undergo mandatory coaching program by the College of Psychologists of Ontario due to the public statements he has made. So this, this, you, this is where you get a different feel for the news, um, people calling it re-education training, myself including. Uh, but, you know, they'll call it what the college calls it, and that's a, a coaching program. Peterson, however, said all the complaints at the issue are political and don't have anything to do with his past or present clients as a psychologist, which is, again, their purview. I'm taking I, I'm I'm to take a course of such training with reports documenting my progress or face an in-person tribunal and suspension of my right to operate as a licensed clinical psychologist, Peterson wrote on Twitter. Peterson, who has frequently made headlines for controversial views and is celebrated by the right wing, said he won't comply. Again, there's your political opinion coming out in the <laughs> in this in the lines of the article of this journalist. Now, if you go down the uh, down to get some of the meat of the article, less of their opinion. The college is not authorized to discuss this matter as per the confidential confidentiality provisions of Section 36 of Ontario's Regulated Health Professionals Act 1991. So this is the anonymity of being able to file complaints regardless of if you even ever interacted with the individual and then the college having the ability to, well, with their own political whim, do as they see fit. The CPO provided a link to publicly available information regarding Peterson. And I have that I have that link and I'll, I'll be sharing that momentarily. Under the discipline and other proceedings tab of his profile that can, it contains that Peterson is being required to take part in a specified continuing education or remedial program, quotes, which everyone is calling re-education, regarding his professionalism in public statements. So again, outside of the purview of what the college is actually supposed to be overseeing. It also says that Peterson has filed a notice of application for judicial review with the Ontario Divisional Court. Peterson said he is mounting a constitutional challenge. In a follow-up email, Global asked the college what conduct standards it has for licensing individuals in regards to uh, for licensed individuals in regards to their public behavior not directly related to their practice, but did not receive a response, of course. So that's that's how this works. That's how this works. The CPO professional standards regarding public statements largely referred to advertising of services, though there is a section regarding providing inform more informative or information, advice, or comment to the public via any medium. Now, here is the uh, uh, Jordan Peterson's uh, profile. And under discipline and other proceedings, you can see the decision released on November 22nd, 2022, the in Inquiries, Complaints, and Reports Committee decided to require Jordan Peterson to successfully complete the prescribed re-education, <laughs> specified continuing education or remedial program. The substance of the remedial program is a coaching program to address issues regarding professionalism in public statements, again, outside of the purview of the college. Now, uh, yesterday, there was a video by Michaela Peterson, Jordan Peterson's daughter. She's also a public figure and uh, has a large YouTube channel with a large following. 
uh, I'm not going to show the video. You can, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check out the video and I recommend that you do so. Uh, but just a few highlights of what she had to say that people have been her using the College of Psychologists since 2008 to harass Dr. Peterson. Now, there's been um, millions of people that follow him, but apparently there's been a dozen complaints, like a dozen complaints from individuals stating that they have been harmed by Peterson, but not in any specific way or not them personally, that, that his statements harm people in general. Now, she points out that the re-education training, the specified continuing education or remedial program, will cost him at his own cost $225 per hour, and this is for an undetermined amount of time. This is until they're satisfied with him having gone through this. It's like right out of 1984, the Room 101, where 2 plus 2, uh, you, have, you need to be convinced that it is uh, actually 5. And uh, until they feel satisfied with your um your truthfulness, your your heart-filled uh, ability to answer that question the way they want you to answer it, despite it not being true and you knowing it not to be true, uh, they will decide at that point that it is enough. When it is through, they will decide if he, if he gets to keep his license as a clinical psychologist. That's what's going on. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out the link in the description. I found it particularly suspicious with the timing. So the timing of this, again, is November 22, uh, November 22nd, uh, 2022, right around the time where he was cr criticizing the uh, anonymous accounts on uh, social media. And there, he's been getting a, actually a lot of backlash about this, but it seems like maybe, maybe a case of kicking someone when they're down uh, by bringing this uh, to the forefront um, and and going after him at that time when when it seems like even some of his supporters are against him at the moment. But I could be totally wrong about that. But I would like to discuss that further, perhaps in uh, Friday's live stream or perhaps even um, next, next week's podcast. Um, yes, I think next week's podcast. Bring another voice in so we can discuss this. Uh, people are asking, what can they do to combat this whole effort? Well, there is a complaint form. You can go to the College of Psychologists of Ontario. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Now, you have to provide the name of the person that you're complaining about. And here is a list. Uh, this is also being shared by Michaela Peterson in her video. Uh, but this is a list of the board members of the... Uh, of the College of Psychologists of Ontario. Now, this is not doxing anybody. This is publicly known information. It's right on the website. If you want to file a complaint, these are the people you filed the complaint to or, or about. So this is absolutely um, fair game here. If you would like to uh, stand up for what uh, what a lot of people are saying is a, a, a public figure being bullied behind the scenes uh, by trying to remove his license from him now, this is a, a problematic thing for everyone down the line. Uh, Canadians working in the trades. I mean, I have a license to be an automotive technician. Uh, what I say publicly and what I report on publicly could that be used against me in the industry training authority and have my license pulled? Well, we don't want to see this kind of thing happen. This kind of stuff rolls downhill. So it's now. Now is the time to put our foot down and uh, and say, no, this is not what we're going to stand for. So anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this whole story. I'm trying to make this video not go too much longer. Anyway, uh, we'll see you uh, tonight in the uh, premiere for the, the chat with Maxime Bernier. That's at 6 p.m. Pacific. That would be 9 p.m. Eastern. And then we'll see you in the Friday night live stream as always, 9.30 Eastern. We'll see you then. Keep on tracking.